Um, I start by saying Barakata Yahweh by Shin Yahweh Shai. Barakata Yahweh by Shin Yahweh Shai. Barakata Yahweh by Shin Yahweh Shai. Apostle Rakal back once again with the brother. Atazari. Yeah, tell him who you are. Yeah, I'm brother. brother Atazari from GMS Houston camp. That's right. right. This is the head brother. Come I'm here with the elder of the Houston, Atazaria, head of the uh, Houston GMS camp. Like I said, I'm still down here in Houston. Here, I came down here to spend some time with these brothers. You know, uh, I live up in the Dallas Fort Worth area, but uh, you know, hey, you know, I love, hey, hey, you know, I love you, Dallas brothers. Y'all know that. Yeah, <laughs> Dallas camp, no, I love them. But you know, I mostly I spend man time around you brothers, man. Yeah. So I told these brothers in Houston last time. I said, look, man, you know, I, I, I better know. I gotta stick to my word. I said that mm -hmm. when I was here last you time, say you was months ahead. ago, right, or last right. year. I said, hey. I'm going to start spreading my time between Come the two. On. You know? Like I said, man, hey, you know, I've been I've been around the Dallas brothers. The Dallas brothers grew up around me in the truth. So, you know, I haven't really got to spend a whole lot of time with these brothers, right. man. So, you know, I want to get acclimated and I want to form a, a, a tight bond with the Houston brothers as well. And Abba um, I'm going to start messing around with the, which I already hung out with the Austin brothers. I had a beautiful time with those brothers a few months back. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Austin. Lord willing, the spirit gonna get on me. I'm gonna start making little excursions to Austin too. Uh -huh. You know, and just kicking them with those brothers, man. Go down there and spend a couple of days with those young brothers. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. they are, hey, that's my job, right? An apostle sent mm -hmm. forth. Mm -hmm. So, you know, and I'm not just gonna be sitting up in Dallas all the time. I'm gonna be down here dealing with all the Texas camps and GMS. Mm -hmm. Lord willing, uh -huh. you know what I mean? Uh -huh. But uh, uh, um, if the Lord permits, as long as the Lord keep breath in my body and my spirit in my body, I'm a Ratazai, Yahweh, why Yahweh shy, you know? But uh, once again, me and this brother, you know, see that's, how, see, that's when you know the spirit is flowing. Because we just did the other video, and that video was sparked off of a conversation between me right. and this brother. You know, we just sitting here in the crib, just chopping it up, talking, and then the spirit get on us. I said, wait a minute, man. Yo, man, brother, you on hold. Oh, let's put this on camera. Yeah. You know? Because as I'm sitting there talking, I'm like, yo, this is a heavy conversation. Yo, this should be on camera okay. for the edification of the whole that's congregation. Right. That's right. All right. See, and that's what I mean. You dudes that don't want to do videos, you brothers that are slacking on your videos, man, you better check yourself, man. Ex uh, examine yourselves, man. Okay? Oh, man, give me that scripture. Examine yourselves whether you be in the faith. Come on. You know? Because... That's a scary thing. That's a slippery slope to walk. Because if you're in this truth and you got the knowledge, and especially if you're a person that has been in this truth for a particular period of time, it's scary if the spirit is rarely on you. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It really is because it's like, damn, well, when is the spirit on you? Well, no, I ain't in the spirit. I ain't in the spirit. That's a demon. Right. Like I told this elder. Depression is a demon. You depressed. I'm going to say what Apostle Tahar said goddamn 25 years ago. You ain't got time to be depressed. Yeah. There ain't no time to be depressed. Okay? You sitting around being depressed and you're going to fall uh, in danger of the judgment, man. Remember, Yahweh Shah put out the scripture. Well, I mean, there's a few. Oh, my goodness. There's so many scriptures. Yahweh Shah said, Blessed is that servant when his Lord cometh, he findeth him so doing. Yeah. So when Yahweh Shah come back and you ain't. Hey man, you gon' you gon' like uh, hey man, a uh, 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 a brother told me this. You gonna get out of this truth what you put in. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. You gonna get out of this what you put in. That's right. Okay. All right, go ahead, brother. All right. This is Second Corinthians chapter thirteen and five. It says, "Examine yourselves, whether ye be in the faith. Mm -hmm. Prove your own selves. Ooh. Know ye not your own selves." How that the Lord Yahweh Shah Hamashiach is in you, except you be rep in you. The yes. word Yahweh Yahweh Shah is in you. Yes. If Yahweh Shah is in you, then you're supposed to be in the spirit most of the time. That's right. Hey man, nobody's gonna be in the spirit all the time. The spirit is like the wind. There's gonna be times where the spirit is just not on you. You know, because we're in this flesh, man. We got Satan messing with right. us. Right. So you might be wherever you are, and like yeah, well, you know. I want to do a video, but the spirit is just not. But you know what? Sometimes you got to force yourself in the spirit. Yeah. Go ahead, brother. Go on. You know, say what you was going to say. Oh, la, I, 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 I,
You sure, man? Kind of like, you can throw in, you know that. You know? Yahweh shines in you. So you got to examine yourself. Go ahead, man. Yeah, the scriptures say give diligence, you know, to make your calling and election assured, you know? You, you ain't doing that. Then you're not fulfilling the scripture, what it's saying to do. Giving diligence, you know? You got to get into this thing, man, you know? Come and on. it's like the apostle just said. And they go with anything. You only get out of something what you put into something. You investing in it, man. Come on. You want to return, you got to heavily invest. Yeah. You know? Yeah. That's how you get returns on shit, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, man. That, that's even in the ESOS. Yeah, the world. yeah. The stocks, bonds. Yeah. You can't talk about, oh, well, I'm going to put $100. I mean, it depends on what. I mean, it's right. happened. Right. It's right. happened, but not. Even oh, you in between. Far and few. Even these Edomites will tell you. These stockbrokers yeah. and these big businessmen, you can't come to them with like, look, I tell you what, I'll give you a hundred dollars and uh uh can I make five million? Uh, they're gonna they're gonna, they gonna laugh you to scorn. Yeah, they're gonna close the door in your face. <laughs> he said, look, partner, look man, you gotta start off with at least five thousand. Right. To expect to get even anything substantial. Yeah. Right? Yeah. You can't come to them about, well, look, I'll tell you what, hey, uh, can I put $100 on this stock? And, uh, <laughs> you know what I mean? For the most part, you got to lay out big and big time money. Big bread. Working out, training. Yeah. I used to box for like 10, 11 yep. years. Yeah. Hey, man, for me, to, and, and you know, I, uh, uh, my time of boxing, Apostle Tahar started me out in boxing. We was in the boxing gym every day, except for the Sabbath. Mm-hmm. The only day we wasn't in there was on the Sabbath. Outside of that, every fucking day, Apostle Todd, look, brother, let's go. Meet me in the gym at 12 o'clock. We was in the gym, working out, training. I was sparring, doing all that. And after a while, I got pretty good at it. I considered myself pretty good at boxing. I became a student of the craft. I'm still a student of the craft. But I wouldn't, and you know, brothers know, you know, I show brothers little stuff. They're, damn, okay. Damn, you can box. See your business. You know, because I put the work in. Right. I wasn't in there bullshit. I was serious about it, man. That when I was boxing. You but, wasn't in the gym standing around with your hands in your pockets nah, just looking. No. Nah, I wasn't doing that shit. Right. You see what I'm saying? Getting up on the days I don't go to the gym, I'm doing road work, jogging four miles. That's how you get the stamina. Mm. And that's, the, the, you, you know, you never lose it. And so to this day, I still got my stamina. I still got my. I can still. I can still do three three rounds, uh, uh, three minute rounds, just like the pros. God. But it took work to to establish that discipline. Yeah. It took years of work. Right. You see, like you said, I wasn't sitting in the house watching boxing videos. Right. I was involved. Right. No. Doers of the word. Get that scripture for me. See, it's not about looking the part. See, anybody could do that. I could go somewhere to a sporting goods store and I could buy, hence this All the point. Yeah, yeah. That's the point of this video. Uh, uh, be the part, not look the part. That's right. I can go to a sporting goods store. I can go to a boxing gym. I could buy hand wraps. I could buy uh, 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 gloves. Yeah, yeah. Right? I could buy some goddamn gloves, right? You know what I mean? Uh, uh, I could buy a headpiece, mouthpiece. Right. I could put all that shit on and walk around with it. Right? Right. And, and throw crazy punches in the air. Oh, yeah. yeah. He's a boxer. Oh, shit. He must be a boxer. But I don't know how to box a lick. Right. Okay? Somebody challenged me in the ring, asked me to step in the ring or even in the street fight. I don't know what to do, right? No. Which, hence, that's what's going on amongst Israel. You got a lot of you guys, like Apostle Gabal, I believe, coined this phrase. All right? Uh, you guys... Y'all love to wear the Israelite paraphernalia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Y'all love to wear the Israelite paraphernalia. See, but go ahead, brother. Con, this is the book of St. James, chapter 1, and verse 22. It says, But be ye doers of the word, and not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. You see? You got to get into it, man. You got to do what this scripture says. You know, you can't just say, oh, I hear it, I hear it, you know, I believe this, and I'm, see, faith is an action word, man, okay? You say you got faith, you got to show that faith, you know? And it hints doing the work, 
getting into this thing, man, not just looking the part. Because, like, the pop, you can buy an Israelite kit online. Okay? You can, I get uh, advertisements for Israelite garments and stuff like that all the time on my feeds. You know? Anybody could put on a garment and look like they, but then you go talk to them and they don't know shit. Well, look, these other camps, like Nate and even these Sakari dudes, they sell it. Remember that they, 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 they make a merchandise. Kit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, 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 the camp started kit. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And that's why we got all these little maniacs running around. Exactly. These, these, these little uh, novice running around talking wow, about wow. kind of crazy shit. Yeah. Right? Making this up look crazy. You could buy it. Uh, remember, it's for sale. If, if I was just a regular Jake in the world, I could go to, to, to the website. I can go to the IUIC website and I could buy the, you know, the, 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 the T-shirts with yeah. the fringes Just on it, it. Yep. right? Yep. And the scarves, the T-shirts, the, all that shit, the hats, the bandanas, the, all that shit, chains, whatever. The Israelite paraphernalia. Yeah, yeah. It, it then became a hustle. Yep. Right? Yep. And I could walk around looking like an Israelite. I just wanted to look like, I want the look of the Israelite. Yeah. So when people see me, oh, he must be one of the Israelite brothers. But then... Do you really know the scriptures? Are you applying the scriptures? Are you really walking that walk? Are you really walking the straight gate? See what I mean? Yep. That's what I'm talking about. See, a lot of you guys, y'all like the paraphernalia. Y'all like the so-called, I guess, camaraderie. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know, y'all like getting together and hanging out with other so-called brothers. and Right. You know, the, the party pass over. Pull your shoulder. Pull your shoulder. Pull uh, the Majum of the Nava, right? And all that other shit, right? Doing doing the cadence. You know, y'all like getting together and drinking and hanging out. Right. Eating chicken. Chicken, of course. Right? Eating chicken. <laughs> but you dudes ain't really about this truth, man. Y'all don't really believe in your house shot. Go ahead, my brother. Con, back in uh, the book of St. James, 2022 again. But be ye doers of the word, okay? And not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. And focusing on the first line. You got it, brother. You got that. Being a doer of this truth, man. You know, not just looking like you 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 about it. You really are about it. You know, like Jake used to say, "Bout it, bout it." You know, you ain't just fucking around, man. You know, you really into this. You know, not just uh, hey, uh, con brew, con brew. You know, <laughs> hey, Aki, hey, Ak, Ak. Yeah, yeah. You know. We didn't came across them type of guys, man. And you, you still steer far clear from them, you know? Yeah. Because they ain't real, man. You know? You're supposed to put on this holy garment. Not that, you know, the scripture. And as a matter of fact, the scriptures say, put you on sackcloth, man. What happened to that? Okay? Mm -hmm. You guys look like y'all can fucking fly. Block, block bullets and shit, yeah, man. Yeah, like, you know? like black superheroes. Yeah. Man. You know? Out the 70s. <laughs> yeah, you guys look more, they look yeah. more impressive than the Avengers. Yo, shit. <laughs> you guys look like y'all could literally save us, man. You know? But when you go in and you, you, you dialogue with these cats, you come to realize they really don't know shit. You know? And then the guys that's really dressing like that, y'all going off, man. What's the MOTB, man? Con. You know? With all this information and all this shit coming out about the MOTB, you guys are still off on the doctrine, man. Fine. You fine. know? But you look good. Amongst other things. Right. You know? Yeah. 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 Amongst. Uh, uh, yeah. Well, it, realistically, it, it, it all covers the doctrine. Fine. Because the, the MOTB, uh, a lot, a lot not saying all of y'all, but uh, predominantly, most of you are off on that. Yeah. Y'all, uh, 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 hey, these guys over here, you're hunting them. You can pop your woman in the Sabbath. Uh, up the butt. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, what type of foul shit? How could you call yourself a leader and the general know. of Israel telling brothers that they can sodomize their woman? Right. On the Sabbath. Right. Or whenever they chose right. to. When the Bible tells you clearly sodomy is against the Bible. That's right. So how, how do you justify that? Right? How do you justify that? Talking about, yeah, man, we a bunch of niggas. We worship a nigger God, and, man. When the apocrypha tells you, be not a niggard at the table. Con. So the Bible is against niggas. That's right. I got another one. Come on. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 5, and verse 20. 
It says, woe unto them that call evil good and good evil, that put darkness for light and light for darkness. Go ahead, brother. Get your, get Con, in. that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter, man. If you telling somebody that's not good, man, that's evil. Yet you're telling your men they can do that shit and it's okay? Nah, that's off, man. You know? That's big time off, man. Oh, but get that scripture. If the blind lead the blind. <whistles> See, and like Apostle Taha have said in the past, all you guys that's following these guys, as long as you continue to do so blindly, you're going to be destroyed too. Yep. See? Because right, as, as of the moment, while there's still yet liberty, you have a time to repent and get away from them guys. Right? We've been telling you all this shit for years. Get away from these guys. Yep. If you're following Nate, you better get away from Nate. Yep. If you're following Johanna, you better get away from Johanna. Yep. If you're following Bubble Eyed Blackfish, you better get away from that nigga. Because that nigga's a Judas goat, man. Kind. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? This guy, mm -hmm. Bubble Eyed Blackfish, you know, Elder Ricard, the mm -hmm. GOCC, mm -hmm. he led all you dumb niggas back over to Israel. Talking about, yeah, we got to go back to Israel, Jerusalem. The scriptures didn't tell us that. Right. Because they said there would be a time for us to go back to right. Israel when Yahweh Shai can right. bring us back there. That's right. We're going to go back to Israel under the, the leadership of Yahweh Shai. Right. right? And King David behind That's right. Yahweh Shai. I'm just like, we're going to keep that King That's David right. thing on y'all face like a jab. Right. Because we know that bothers y'all. Y'all get offended. But I understand. Because like Ecclesiastes 1 and 9 said, the thing that has been is that which shall be. That's, right. That's why I love the Psalms. Well, that was David. That was King David. Them Psalms will build you up, man. That's right. You brothers, are you feeling down in the spirit? Yeah. Read the Psalms. Get, get into them Psalms. Mm -hmm. It'll pump you up, man. Yeah. It'll build you up. Yeah. That depression demon, the Psalms will rebuke that demon, right. man. The words of King David, those Psalms yeah. that he was singing up to Yahweh by Shem yeah. was shot. Yeah. But that's why a lot of guys come in this truth and then they end up falling off because they was never really a part of it, that's man. That's right. The Bible said that. They went out from us because they were never amongst mm -hmm. us. And then when you go in the book of Jude, it tells you all about that. Right? Certain men crept in unawares. unawares. Ungodly men. Yeah. Turning the, 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 the truth into lasciviousness. Yeah. Ungrateful, unthankful, unholy. Yeah. Because they looked the part. They might have had a beard down mm -hmm. to the floor. Yeah. A beard longer than Aaron's beard. Right. Turban, van, you know, the paraphernalia. Yeah. But they, they, like, they wasn't really about it. See? Yeah. That's why I use the analogy of boxing. You got guys that come walking around with the boxing gloves hanging around their neck. Oh, he must be a boxer. But then you get that motherfucker in the ring, he can't even punch his way out of a wet paper bag. Right. You see what I'm saying? Or whatever. Yeah. You got guys who might dress like a biker. You know what I'm talking about, you know, <laughs> like I said, you might walk around with the vest, the biker, with the boots, the spurs, the whole thing. That motherfucker ain't no biker. He's right. some dude that, he, he likes that poser. He's a, a poser. poser. Yeah, posers. That might be what I titled uh, on my page. The yeah. Bunch of fucking posers. Yeah, go ahead, brother. This is the book of St. Matthew, chapter 15 and 13. But he answered and said, and this is red letter, this is the Lord Yahweh speaking. It says, every plant which my heavenly father had not planted shall be rooted up. Let them alone. They be blind leaders of the blind. Uh -huh. That's okay? right. That's right. Blind, blind leaders of the blind. So the guys that they might have the look of an Israelite. Yeah. Right. They might have the look of an Israelite, but they're not really walking the straight gate. That's right. They're doing everything else but what Yahweh Shah said to do. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? They're doing everything else but what Yahweh Shai said to do. Yep. You see what I'm saying? Which is leading the flock according to the scriptures. Right. Whatever the scriptures say, you just follow that. That's it. You don't follow man. You follow Yahweh Shai, right. Yahweh Shai, the scriptures. Okay? Mm -hmm. That's it. And the only thing we tell y'all is, is what the scriptures say. That's it. See, but a lot of dudes got a problem with us because really they got a problem with Yahweh Shai exactly. himself. Exactly. That's why they scoff. They just just be demons. They just do bitch ass homo shit. Yeah. A lot of you guys are just nothing but a bunch of homos, man. Yeah. You like I said once again, like we said, the black woman spirit. Right. A lot of you guys were raised up. Exactly. You were raised by a black woman. Yeah. You were raised by Big Shirley yeah. and Keisha. Yeah. So you niggas is really undercover homos. Yeah. Yeah. 
and you grow up and you, and you, you, you just you, you don't go by logic you go by your emotions, emotions. you don't like us because the way we talk we talk too rough uh, you don't like certain things we say right. by the way we come off so your thing is to come against us right but it's cool it's okay yeah yeah <laughs> it ain't gonna skin up our ass man right. we just we just rolling with the punches right. we're gonna continue to do what we gotta do that's right we're gonna push this word to you how a shot come back man okay that's it. That's all we're going to do. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to push the word till Yahweh Shai comes back. Yeah. And when Yahweh Shai gets back, or even before Yahweh Shai gets back, that's why the Bible uh, in uh, 2 Ezra 8 and 50, for many great miseries yeah. yep. shall be done to yep. them in the latter times, the last days of the rulership of Esau, that shall dwell in the world because they have walked in great pride. You see? That's how that's going to go down. See what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Go ahead, brother. Con. Uh, say back and say Matthew you 15 homos. And 14. Right. You 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 ho ass niggas. Yeah. Emotional life. You likes. emotional ho ass niggas. Yeah, we touched the nerve. Yeah, I see on the comment board, I see some scoffers on there. But that's okay. See, you scoffers, y'all played out. Yeah. One dude put on the thing here, why are you cussing? We was talking see, about that. Were, it, we were just talking that's about that. Look, yeah. man, look, man, go back to church with Big Shirley. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go back to your mama and let your mama wipe your ass. Yeah. Yeah, I'm cursing. Yeah. I'm going to keep cursing. Yeah. yeah like, even easy, easy said that. I just got to keep cursing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whether I'm serious. Still talking shit. So whether yeah. serious or rehearsing, <laughs> right. I just got to keep cursing. <laughs> but this is for the radio, so I better chill. <laughs> they won't play it if I go get ill, but I'm like that, and that's a natural fact. Because this truth is where my heart is at. That's right. You know? <laughs> right? I'm offended because you're cursing. That's a black body. woman. That's something. Like it might just be a black it woman. Might be. Man, you black woman, you big Shirley's, get the fuck off my right. page, man. Yeah. Get the fuck. Like, we're the niggas you love to hate. Right. <laughs> yeah. You know? You know, you know motherfuckers, y'all want attention. You want validation. That's that whole black woman, ogre, overweight, fat, black, nappy headed ogre. Car boom spirit of the black right. woman. Right. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> cut, brother, cut. Con. Hey, you brothers, you sincere brothers on the comment board, you know what y'all should start doing? Y'all need to do, you know, you brothers, when them scoffers come on the comment board, y'all need to get at them, man. Let them have it. Y'all need to get at these scoffers, man. Cut them with the scriptures, man. Mm -hmm. Make them very uncomfortable. Right. See, because that scoffing thing, the scoffing Y'all had your time. Yeah. Look, man, the Bible says time and chance happen to every man. That's right. There was a time where the scoffers were kind of running loose, but now the Lord has been jacking people yeah. up. Yeah. This is a time of judgment That's now. That's right. So meanwhile, here is the people are dropping dead. People are getting put to death. Yeah. But you motherfuckers ain't got nothing better to do but to scoff. Right. And, and it's weak. Y'all corny. Y'all not even funny. Y'all not even entertaining anymore. Right. The, the Lord has killed that spirit. Yeah. See? Y'all still trying to ride in that spirit, but y'all ain't got it. Go ahead, bro. That's right. And you know, something real quick, too. You know, when all shit, when all hell hits the fan, the scoffing goes down a whole lot, man. You know, when when we, the prophecies that the Lord has us putting out, when those prophecies be popping, then you niggas shut the fuck up, man. You know, just like when the scamdemic came through. All the scoffers kind of shut their fucking mouth for a minute. Oh, no, the scoffers, y'all disappeared when the, when, when yeah. the pandemic. Where was y'all? Y'all was nowhere to be found. Because you were scared. Because you saw the shit happening. You saw prophecies happening in your fucking face, man. You see? Oh, wait a minute. Maybe I should shut up. Maybe this is the truth, you know? But see, the Lord allows things like that to happen. Mm -hmm. And then he'll let it slack up so y'all can build your little funky confidence back up. Yeah. But guess what he gonna Which do? Which is pride. Yeah. He let you he, he let you put your guards down there and he gonna come back across with a right hook, man. And knock your fucking block off. Okay? And look, I'm gonna fuck you niggas up. Yeah. So keep on. Yeah. Matter of fact, I'm gonna put a quick curse up on all you niggas. You homo niggas. Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Shalak Rayam Ayalaka Call Yum Yun I thought Baba Kosha You scoffers Come. All these niggas that come on the comment boards Come. with their little big Moab their big Shirley black woman homo Moab Moaz spirit man all you niggas that talk shit against this truth and against the servants of the Lord Harag I thought Harag I thought I nosh 
ואינשם, ומשפטים, והרגים, ואבדים, בפחושה, באשם יהרשי, תוורת דמיין תוואב. No, what I did, I just cursed the hell out you niggas. Right. You wicked niggas. Right. In the Hebrew. That's right. That was a prayer of destruction and death. Yeah. I just sent upon you wicked, evil scoffers, man. Right. Which is worse than what you think we doing with using by words, man. They just fucking by words. You know? And some of you niggas probably got, you probably cuss worse than us, man. You're you are hypocrites. Know? Like I said, go back and suck on Big Shirley's titty. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Because most of you niggas are raised by Big Shirley. And you and Big Shirley gonna die. Gonna get put to death. Your Big Shirley ogre fat, black, nebby headed, homie the clown looking mothers. Yeah. That you came out of. That hatched you. Yeah. That okay. raised you to be the effeminate, uh, emotional. Punk ass niggas you are. Exactly. You know? Got no use for niggas like you. Yeah. Now, like I said, all you sincere brothers. Yeah. That's on the comment boards. Every time these scoffers, because you brothers are here to learn. That's right. Them homos, they here to try to uh, impede your learning. That's right. So y'all should get mad. That's right. So y'all, you brothers that's on the, you sincere brothers that's on the comment boards, every time them scoffers come on the comment board, y'all jump on them, man. Chase their ass out of here. Get them out of here. Give them no rest. That's right. Okay. What we got? Uh, back in St. Matthew, I'm going to finish it we out. And we're going to end it That's here. That's right. St. Matthew 15 and 14. Lead them alone. They be blind leaders of the blind. And if the blind lead the blind, both shall fall into the ditch. You know? Yeah, brother. Hey, and all them, like all of the, 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 the so-called uh, leaders of Israel, which we know they not, you know, the, there's only one truth, man, Okay. There's only one truth, okay? There's only one truth. It ain't a whole bunch of truths. Somebody got to be right, okay? And if the Spirit of the Lord is dealing with you, he'll put you onto the correct doctrine, man, okay? These other guys, they blind leaders, and they congregation, come on, that's right, that's right. They don't even be fucking knowing what the hell they talking about, man. Come Just on. sitting there chanting, man. You know, following them. But they, they blind too. Because the Lord didn't give them the spiritual eye salve to see the light, man. You know, the leader is blind. You follow that line. If you follow Ray Charles, he like, hey, 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 come on, brother. We're going to walk across this straight, this, this little narrow bridge over this water. How you think that's going to end up if you following Ray Charles? To cross a, a narrow bridge, man. And you can't see. Y'all gonna both fall off into the fucking water, man. Okay? Because he's a blind leader. And he's leading you. And you're blind, man. The end result is not good. Okay? It's gonna lead to your destruction. Okay? That's right. A lot of, there's gonna be a lot of death. You people don't realize. See, when like, I, like the brother said. When that... Pandemic came, people were dropping dead. Yeah. Then y'all guys, so that's the only time people get their shit together, they humble. When, when, when they scared. Right? You scared. Yeah. But you're supposed to have the fear of the Lord all the time, man. The fear of the Lord ain't something you have for a season and then, you know, well, you know, I ain't, uh, you know, I'm going to do my own thing now. Till some shit pop off and then, Lord, uh, please, you know. Yeah, it's so, like, see, People are proud until judgment comes. That's in. right. Oh, God, Jesus. Yeah. Lord. Yeah. And, you know, you niggas, then you go, yeah. Lord, but what was that name? Your holy, your holy. Yeah. Th th then you, y'all going to be wanting to call upon oh, the Lord. Oh, 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 I got to get one more. One more. Okay, we'll read one more. Oh, God. Let's go to the book of Ezekiel. Uh, yeah, like I said, two. beautiful, beautiful. Uh, Barakatai, your holy, your holy, your holy. You brothers in the comment board, get at these little fucking minions that come on the comment board. They trying to impede you, bro. They trying to destroy you, brothers. They want to see, because you brothers are coming on the video, y'all watching the videos, y'all watch the apostles and the elders and the videos, so y'all can learn, y'all trying to learn and be edified. These demons are coming on here just being demons, looking like little black bitches looking for attention. Right. Right? Trying to interfere with your learning, man. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Ezekiel 2 and 4. For they are impudent children and stiff-hearted. I do send thee unto them, 
And thou shalt say unto them, Thus said the Lord God, Yahweh Yahushua, and they, whether they will hear or whether they will forbear, for they are rebellious house, okay, yet shall know that there had been a prophet among them. You see, when the shit hit the fan, and the prophecies that we're speaking now through the Spirit of the Lord come true, then y'all gonna know. Wait a minute. They was cussing, but they was telling the truth. You see? But at this point, it's gonna be too fucking late, man. You know? So it will behoove you to take heed to the message now. But we already know that the Lord got it set up the way it is, man. Everybody got their lot, man. Con, you con. know? You see, y'all playing your part. Yes, all. Y'all playing your part. That's right. See, remember what the Bible says, and we'll end it on this. Mm -hmm. Uh, Yahweh Shai said this Every idle word that men shall speak And that includes women Because right. some of these scoffers be women yep, too yep. Which is See but I expect a woman of I course. see from a stupid Cotton candy dildo head Woman I See women they just go by the emotions yeah. But I don't get that mad Because a woman is supposed to do that Exactly. But you punk ass mo ass men That act like women Y'all worse than women Yeah. Yeah. Okay Yeah a woman, women do that. They just run their mouth and talk shit to, <laughs> until you take your fist and knock them upside the fucking yeah. head. Yeah. Right? Until you beat their ass. Yeah. Then they say, oh, oh, you hit me. Yeah. I'm a woman. Well, you shouldn't be running your goddamn mouth like a man. Yeah. You women are going to get judged, man. <laughs> but with that, man, we're going to end the video. I pray it was edifying. Uh -huh. I say, for water, you how about you? Uh -huh. I was shy. And I say, Barak call Akim. To all you sincere brothers, shalom on the water, you brothers on the comment board for coming through okay. and continue to do that. That's right. Well, all the all you brothers, when you watch the videos of the apostles and the bishops and these elders, every time a fucking scoffer come on there, y'all brothers need to jump all over them. Jump all over them scoffers on the comment board. That's what y'all need to start doing. Start getting at them. Make them uncomfortable. Right. Let them know that they're in a battle. Yeah. You didn't walk in the lion's den. Because, yeah, you didn't walk in. Because every time they come up there with their scoffing, they're trying to impede your learning. That's right. Ain't nothing but Satan trying to steal away your, your, your spirituality, your man. Mm -hmm. Take your crown. Mm -hmm. But with that, I say Shalom Barak Kol mm -hmm. Akim of the hopeful elect. That's right. Shalom. Shalom. Oh, yeah, that one.